Lazy in the moon coming up tonight, shining through the trees. Records are singing and a lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Baby, get ready. What's going on, guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. I'm going to start a new thing on Sundays, do a beginner song. Most of the people that watch me, they're watching for beginner songs. My algorithm tells me that. I can see the views, that kind of thing. And I want you to be able to have a few songs kind of in your little book that you're confident you can jam. This should be one of them, Fishing in the Dark, Nitty Gritty Dirt Man. What I want you to focus on is how I keep that ring finger on the second string of your third fret. Remember, each of these squares, it's kind of hard to see on this guitar. First fret, second fret, you see that dot, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. We're going to do all our chords in the second and third fret. I make sure beginners know that when they're learning guitar from me. I'm gonna focus all the time on the second and third fret. So, on a regular D chord, you'd play the third and bottom string of the second fret, the second string of the third fret, it's from the bottom four. What I want you to do, start out, you can just have your ring finger on that second string. And I want you to play the bottom four, the first strum, and then add your first finger on that third string. Lazy at a moon coming up to Again, if you want to have your middle finger on the bottom string, you can, or you can just do, just have it one finger cramped. Lazy at, we're just doing down strums. Lazy at the moon coming up tonight, shining through the trees. And then you're going to keep that ring finger there, plant that pinky finger, and now you're in the Matt McCoy four chords, the two strings are locked. Get those locked and go fifth of the second fret. Top string of the third fret. Crickets are singing and lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Baby, get. Again, keep that ring finger there and start the chord. Ready. Cross the field where the creek turns back by the old stump road. Back that G. I'm gonna take it to a special place that nobody knows. Baby, get again, you're pivoting. It's so key. You can do, use this with all the songs that have that D A G kind of chord scheme. Jason Aldean, a lot of his songs do this. Go get that G back down. Ready. And then you're gonna use what I, what I call an A chord. Keep the ring finger there. Use your one finger, press the two, go close to that fret bar, press those two middle strings. D, G, and this A. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shh. You and me going fishing in the dark, lying on our backs and counting the stars where the G cool grass grows. Stick around at the end, I'll play the whole thing. We can kind of play together. Down by the river in the full moonlight, we'll be falling in love in the middle of the night, just moving slow. We got a last chord here we're gonna use for this whole song. It's an E minor seven. It's gonna be just like your A, but instead of the two middle strings, you're gonna put that first finger up to the fifth and fourth. Stay in the whole night. Then back to A. Through. Back to E minor seven. Feels so good too. Back to A. Be with D. Notice how when I'm playing those four strings without that third string pressed, Hear that? It's called a hammer-on. It gives what's called musical dimension. Instead of just hammering away on one chord, when you play the, when you start that chord without that string pressed. So remember, you're going to keep that ring finger always planted to kind of stabilize that guitar. When I was first learning guitar, anytime I had to take all the fingers off for, say, for a C chord, then D, then G, then all the fingers off, it screwed me up, and I just gave up a guitar for, for about the first two years, if I'm being honest. So anytime you could find something to kind of stabilize that guitar, that's gonna help you out a lot. Let's play through it here. Remember, get your D, then you got your A, E minor seven, and G, it's your four chords. Lazy yellow moon coming up to night, shining through the trees, G. Records are singing and lightning bugs are floating on the breeze, baby D, red. D, cross the field where the creek Back by the old stump road, G. I'm gonna take it 
take it to a special place that nobody knows. Baby, get the ready for the A. Back forth those two chords, A minor, seven, and A. Stay in the whole night through. Feels so good to be with you. Again, what I was doing on this right hand, if you want to just do a regular strum, that's fine. If you lightly take your hand, it's going to sound cool. It's kind of that, it's called a palm mute. You lightly kind of go to the bridge here and, and keep it lazy in the moon. That kind of gives it like a little kind of mysterious little baby get ready. Mm -hmm. It's even cool when anytime songs you can start out maybe a little quieter and kind of have that build up. And then kind of. And so forth. People ask always, Matt, will you show your guitars? This is a close, K-L-O-S, close carbon fiber. Uh, this is the full size one they sent me. I love this guitar. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what model it is. But it's, it's the bigger one. It has a great sound to it, really good. Um, sometimes where it doesn't have that little line right there, it's hard to see that first fret. But um, really, really nice guitar, so I'm, I'm really thankful for them sending me this. Uh, it's one of the perks. Uh, it's a blessing to get guitars like this sent to you, so I'm very thankful for the people at Close. I travel with this guitar a lot. So, guys, go check out my website, Country Song Teacher. It's all one word, countrysongteacher.com. This song was in Prime Country Songbook Volume 1. But if you want to see the, the people ask me all the time, Matt, what's in your four-chord songbook? What's in your Christmas book? So forth. If you go to countrysongteacher.com and click on the individual songbook, you'll see all the titles of all the songs, the title and the artist in each of the books. If you click on one of the bundles, it doesn't show. Maybe I need to fix that. But if you click on like say four chord volume one and two together, it won't show the titles. But if you click on four chord by itself and four chord by number two, prime country, you'll show the titles of all the songs. So go check it out, countrysongteacher.com. Thank y'all so much for the support you give me. Like I said, on Sundays, we'll start always doing it at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Kind of easy beginner songs. Get you guys fired up for the week. I love you. More importantly than that, God loves you. Let's go.